point because yeah. it was like it, it resonated but it didn't resonate you know um but those seeds that he planted as we began to achieve knowledge itself or receive knowledge itself then everything really it was all making sense like damn okay we are great like you know what i mean because the programming is crazy so initially, y'all getting this foundation from your your mom and pops and whoever is moving around that, mm -hmm. but y'all yeah. also are seeing what's happening, what y'all experiencing. And, yeah, and mind you, this you. is twelve and thirteen, so we had just came back from being with Sabi. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, in Saint Croix, in, okay. Saint Croix okay. in the Caribbean. So, and his perspective was. Quote unquote, for so many words, a black man is God. Right, right. And this is how he demonstrated. That wasn't the language that he used, but his premise was look, I don't care, don't want to hear, don't have no time mm -hmm. for hearing anything about white supremacy, superiority, or some white man this or some white man that. Like, we don't play that. We you got know what I'm saying? Power. Yeah, we got the power. We, we're geniuses. You know what I'm saying? We represent excellence. You feel me? And our people are in a state of peril where they need what we have to offer in terms of remedy because they over here drinking white water and look at them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this was at the onset in the beginning of um, crack cocaine. Right. And my mother convinced him to come out of, out of the jungles. You know what mean? He already. was in retirement already. He was on top of a mountain in a rainforest with his feet kicked up. And she was like, nah, you got to come back to the States. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I just seen. Urge. They need. Right. Yeah, what I just seen taking place, you know what I mean, needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. And that was just the beginning of the onset of crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. And she saw a lot of people that she went to school with now and turn into zombies. For sure. So she used that feminine influence, you know what I'm saying, to get the elder back. Over here, their first date, they were coming back to the States dealing with Teddy Pendergrass. That was that was their main client. Mm. And then she brought him up to New York um, on one of their breaks. And I think he met with uh, my grandparents. And he also was able to see the streets in the condition of what was going on. And the rest is history. You know, they got that office in Brooklyn across the street or where the uh, Barclays Center is now. And started doing the work. You feel me? And this was against Fauci and them back then. In the 80s. Yeah, they was players back then. They was main players. You with know, the AZT. With the AZT. You know, with the cocktails. Really Young knocking people. people off. You know what I'm saying? With that level of poison. Um, you know, hiding it behind. You know, uh, oh, AZ is good. Nah, that wasn't what was killing people. It was some cocktails. It was that Agent Orange. So, right. You know, we, again, we, we already came from that soil. Then I get into my father's house, and he's ex-Black Panther, so that level of militants. And then we get into the streets, and the homies in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Militant, too. And they militant. They We looking up, they eight feet tall, solid muscle, mm -hmm. telling this young man that the Black, that he got. With the gold rope on. With, with the gold rope. The gold you know what I'm saying? That would turn man. somebody upside down and shake them yeah. at the same time. But we just look at that like, oh, they out here fighting weakness. Yeah. So that was, so. The, that was, that embarked.